Hi folks, Champagne Friday again. So lovely to be here. And what do we have here? Can you see? 40 champagne bottles. New one that I haven't tasted before. And I just did this to show my gratitude towards all you champagne producers who are sending me the samples. It's a lot of work to check all the grape compositions and, and all the details with the dosage, everything, and I taste almost everything blind. Not these four, because I want to have something to start with. Uh, but the rest today, they will be taken off and we will taste them together blind under perfect circumstances. But today it's Halloween time, so I felt, bring the pumpkin, bring all the leaves, go close to nature, do a little bit of champagne hiking outdoors, and enjoy these brown orange colors that nature is giving us right now and drink some beautiful champagnes. So thank you all champagne producers, all the cooperatives, all the small growers, all the big houses. You are so kind to send all the things that keeps the champagne club going because it's really the base. It's the tasting library with more than 16,000 different champagnes. It would have been impossible without your help. So thank you so much, Champagne people. Today, there's one of them. They don't know, but it's Brice. Brice, it's not Bryce, it's Brice. It's uh, rather, in comparison, young house. It's in Boussy. It's with a Monsieur Constant, who is working, who is coming from Vergnon in uh, Luminil, who's taking over and produces clean, beautiful, refined champagnes, a bit light for coming from Boussy, but at the same time more and more oak barrels, so increasingly weight from that side, purity first, that's the, the way they are working over there. So what did I bring? I, bring, I brought their Heritage, the, the regular one, and this is one of the first 21, pure 21s that I've been tasting, So and 21 it's not a very good vintage, but still this is very pure. It's, it's a little bit light, but clean and pure. Read all about it in the tasting library, but I give it a lot more words to this, which is something that more and more people are doing. I think it started with Lanson and a couple of others, uh, old aged, prolonged, uh, aging. So they take the normal non vintage champagne and age longer. And in this case, it's also together with a Solera down to 2004. So it started 2004. Small volumes, of course, but a uh, Reserve Perpetuelle up to 2020, which is the base year for this one. And immediately, poof, poof, the oak barrels here, the old wine integrates so beautifully with the, with the base wine. So I think the step up is huge. This is a great non-vintage champagne that I clearly can recommend so highly. Then we go to the Blanc de Noir. And the Blanc de Noir, this time based, is a pure uh, Boussy, first of all, from four plots. And it's almost a pure 21 again, uh, as I said, Rather light vintage, but a lot of power, clean fruit, um, a lot of typical. There is a specific note which is just from Boussy and Ambonnet, and it's a little bit of the stewed apples together with the pears, if you, com if you compare to what you find in IE and uh, some other villages around there. That's very clear. So there's a certain roundness to it, despite the fact that it's coming from this very a thin vintage of 21. Also very nice, also recommended, even if it's not as great as other base wines. And the superstar for today, there is another one which I haven't tasted, which will come during the blind tasting later, which is the first time it's a single vineyard champagne from a specific spot in Boussy, and it's 2019. But here we have, with 70-75% uh, Pinot Noir in the 2016, the regular vintage, just released, great depth of maturity, very long aging, deep, almost uh, 
I wouldn't say yeasty, but very strong, freshly baked bread aromas. More animalistic, a little bit of, of uh, cooked vegetables. Refined and long. So, one of the producers that will be shown today, Breeze. And thank you, Breeze. Thank you, everyone. And join us a little bit for the blind tasting. Is there a sommelier in the house? Yes! No, but in the pool. It is so cool. <laughs> what a tremendous tasting, Johanna. It, it was amazing, of course. 40 different new champagnes. Correct. And uh, we also want to have this seriosity all the way through. But what could be better than ending by going to a warm swimming pool Let's look at the fog that enters it. But most of all, I brought a blind tasting champagne for you, which the reason why I brought it was very clear for me. Uh, very often, since we are at my house, I bring bottles which are, which I think could be perfection for the moment. Right. And in the champagne hiking book, and during the visits and the travels we, we made, we made starry skies, we made sea, water, we made the moon. High which was mountains, long. everything, yeah, all these different. But we also wanted to capture the sky. And when we tried to capture that, we got into Veuve Clicquot, Cap Privé, Vinotec, Magnums. And what could be better than 88? So what's your impressions about that? Well, just the setting is, is marvelous, of course. We've been tasting, as you say, a lot of different things. And you've mm. been, uh, after the obvious ones, you, you did some blind tasting for us. Yeah. And to end the evening with a Magnum, one of the classics. And I have to say, this is also very special bottling. Of course, you had your own personal uh, dosage yeah. made of it. Yeah. Slightly lower, nine grams is normal at the at the time, but seven grams. But this oh, one yeah. is yeah. young as a baby. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to add, I haven't had a swim the whole season, ah! and this is the 25th of October, so let's go off the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and if you've seen everything that we are broadcasting, I will tell you, you see me swim in Loch Ness as well. And this is my home pool, so it's very simple to do it. It's like 20 degrees difference in water temperature <laughs> yeah. from, from Scotland in May. Actually, 25 degrees difference. <laughs> Even more that. Ex more exact. Even yeah. that. Yeah. So, folks, see you next Friday. And don't forget these kind of things. Seriosity, champagne, details, village by village. When you end, just enjoy. Champagne is life. Ha <laughs> ha!